Welcome to another video by Ferros Technology. Today I want to grab some data from the web. I specifically want to grab data that is in a table format that would easily fit into a table within uh, Microsoft Access. So let's see how to do it. And what I'm really talking about here is the option that when we go to a new data source from file, we can import an HTML document. So what I want then is to find an HTML document on the web that I want to import. And frankly, I, I do want to import this data. It happens to be food inflation data for an economic subject that I'm interested in. And as I go down, I'm not really interested in all of the contextual information that they give and the charts above and so forth. What I'm really interested in is this table. That data is going to allow me to play with the numbers and do my own analysis, getting some trends and so forth for my economics channel and be able to share information with the public. So I want this data. I know Access can import HTML. All I need to do is save this HTML file. So I'm gonna right click and save as, and here I can save it as an HTML file. Well, I've already done this in preparation for this video. So I'm going to go ahead now and minimize this. And I'm going to go to here and from file and from an HTML document, I am going to browse for where I've saved that data. And I've saved it in this folder. And this is the file here, inflation data. It's an HTML document instead of a link. That's why I know there's the difference there. So I'm going to go ahead and open this. I'm going to tell it to import the data into a new table, okay? And when I click OK, it works out, oh, wait a minute, and it bounces against an error. The challenge here is that while Access can import data from a, an HTML file, it can import the table data from an app, from an HTML document, but not the whole thing. It doesn't know what to do with all the other tags in HTML coding. It knows what to do with the table tags and such. And let me show you an example here. I have this customers.html and notice it says table customers. Yes, I exported it from another access database. And when I click on it, you see that as far as a web page, it is the table only. So it has the title up here, it has the headings up here, and it has the rest of the data from that table. It will like this when I go to access and say, let's go ahead and import an HTML document here. But this time I'm going to say, let's import this one that I know is just the table. Well, so I click open and I click OK it notices that the data is well formed in columns and, and rows. I tell it that the first row are my headings, but here's my table. Very, very easy. As long as the HTML document is simply the table only, it won't throw you any errors at this point. But how do I get from this data that has all of this extra gunk in it and easily get to where it's just the table. You know, I can monkey, I suppose, with uh, the actual HTML document, but I'd rather not. I'd rather not waste the time of trying to delete separate lines that aren't table related and so forth. There's an easier way. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually go to my friend, my Excel spreadsheet here. I am going to go here to choose HTML documents, all web pages it's called. And now I'm going to go to my importing things here and I'm going to go to the document here. Now, if I click open at this point, it's going to handle all of the nonsense at the top of the file. And frankly, it, there's the table that I want right there. I can very easily now delete the rows that I don't want anymore. So I'm gonna delete all of that now I do have a graphic here, but the graphic has a link under it. Um, in order to get rid of the link, I can go ahead and just remove the link. Then I should be able to delete. There is this input field here that's just there. It'll ignore that. So I don't really need to worry about that. 
Uh, I'm going to scroll to the end of the table here and I am going to get rid of uh, all the rest of it. There we go. And I'm going to delete everything here. And I've got some graphics here to deal with. Um, I'm actually not going to worry about those graphics. They're below the table. Now, I do have a merged field situation here that I need to deal with because it, it won't like the fact that these are these contain a merged field over here. So I'm going to unmerge them. Okay. Now I have that unmerged. And now I can go ahead and delete these extra two rows here. Uh, delete those. And that data is going to be available later. So I'll delete that out. Now I've kind of cleaned up my, uh, my spreadsheet here. Uh, all that should exist down here is just nonsense stuff that I could remove all the links. I could spend the time there, but I don't find that to be particularly valuable to, to remove all that. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and save this. Um, no, I don't want to keep it in that format. So I'm going to browse and I'm going to save this as an Excel file as an Excel workbook here. Okay. So I save the data. Okay. Very good. So that, that it's now saved as an Excel file. And now I want to go over here and I'm going to go to new, um, I'm going to import from a file from Excel and browse. I'm going to choose my Excel file here. I'm going to open it and click OK. And lo and behold, it likes it. It, it likes it. I'm going to scroll down here a little bit, see if it gets to the end. No, it doesn't get to the end of the table to see those graphics. Um, the first row contains column heads. It, it does just fine. It's got an average column there as well as through December. It doesn't look like it has anything beyond just the average. Okay, that's fine. I'm going to click Next. And I'm going to not worry about what it calls any of those. I'm just going to finish. I don't need to save those import steps. And let's see, my food inflation table looks just like that. And now I have the food inflation data that I wanted to get from that website. Microsoft Office as a total package, a lot of times will have all the tools necessary in order to get a particular job done. In this case, I called on another part of the package, the Excel, uh, Excel part of the package to do some of my cleanup with that web page, cleaned up the data that didn't belong uh, in the table. Then I was able to import that table just fine from Excel instead of directly from an HTML document because the HTML only works if you have a good, clean table. And sometimes you do. Sometimes you, you have a file repository out there on the web that has table data and that works just fine. It'll come in as a text file. It'll come in as a, as an HTML file, a lot of different, different ways. Uh, but when you have a table embedded in the middle of a, a web page, yeah, best bet is to just go to Excel to use that. Now, if you liked the content here, hit the subscribe button. I hope you'll subscribe and come see other videos later again. Hope to see you then. Thanks. Bye.